Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your Delta News at 10. I'm Lakia Scott. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2016. Greenville police make an arrest in a recent homicide case. Authorities captured Damon Williams Thursday in the 1000 block of Duncan Street. Investigators were able to identify Williams as the suspect in the death of Charles Lattimore. Williams appeared today before municipal court judge Michael Pruitt. Bond was set at $500,000. Saturday, officers found Lattimore's body on a sidewalk in the 100 block of North Hines Street. Initially, authorities said Lattimore appeared to have suffered from a gunshot wound. The medical examiner later determined he suffered blunt force trauma to the head and a, a broken neck. That investigation is still ongoing. Well, police and residents of one Sunflower County community say they're frustrated with a rash of recent break-ins. WXPT's Woodrow Wilkins has more from Drew. This unoccupied house on West Gertrude Street has been targeted by thieves on multiple occasions. While a family member and police disagree on the number of break-ins at this location, both say it's a major problem for this town of about 2,000 people. 2200, 745, 2200, that's Drew Police. I don't even have to save it in my phone because it's on my mind. I've called so much and they come out, they talk to you. They're very nice, they're very respectful, very professional, nothing against them. They come down to the station, you get a police report, you fill it in, you turn it in. They're supposed to do that anyway, just any call, I believe, and nothing ever gets done. Philip Wright's parents lived in the house more than 40 years. His father has died and his mother is hospitalized. And I don't live here and I'm not here and these people just take advantage of this situation. They come in here and they break in, they steal everything she's got. I mean, keepsakes, stuff is valuable. Police Chief Terry Tyler says break-ins are a problem not only in this neighborhood, but all over town. And we've most definitely been trying to be uh, proactive as far as the police department to go around asking questions, trying to see who broke in. And, and people resident and tried to get people to say something. And that's one of our motto, if you see something, say something. Tyler says neighbors can help by watching for suspicious activity and property owners may need to upgrade security. I know once upon a time before, before I became the chief, I uh, is brought to my attention that they had a uh, neighborhood watch team. Uh, we don't have that anymore. So I mean, people can pretty much uh, look out for, for their neighbors and call the police when they see something happening or uh, expect something to happen, any kind of uh, suspicious things, activities going on. They call us, let us know. We most definitely come by and check it out. One neighbor of this house says he and another resident have cameras that have captured some of the criminal activity, but the images aren't clear enough to identify anyone. Andrew Woodrow Wilkins, WXVT, Delta News. Well, if you have information about any of these unsolved crimes, contact the Drew Police Department at 662-745-2200. Well, two people behind bars suspected of child abuse. Bianca Dutley and Arthur Williams are both charged with two counts of felony child abuse. The alleged crime dates back to April 11th when Greenville Police received a call to Delta Regional Medical Center. Two minor children were treated for bruises on several parts of their bodies, including their face and neck. Dutley, the mother of the children was arrested that day and a warrant was issued for Williams, who is identified as her boyfriend. Williams was captured today at a home in the 1700 block of Northview. Police say he was hiding in the attic. Dudley and Williams are being held on bonds of $50,000 each. Well, after nearly seven decades, the remains of a Greenville soldier taken into captivity back in 1951 are finally home. Corporal Dudley Evans was a U.S. Army soldier in the Korean War when he died after being taken prisoner when his unit was attacked in South Korea. A list provided by communist forces claimed Corporal Evans was killed during bomb raids, but another prisoner of war says he witnessed Evans died at the hands of a Chinese guard. The U.S. Army confirmed the cause of death and declared Evans deceased on March 31st, 1951. Yesterday, the Highway Patrol and the Washington County Patriot Guards escorted him, escorted his remains home from Jackson after 65 years. The Patriot Guard ride director Steve Sweet tells us he's grateful to give Evans' 84-year-old brother the closure he's been seeking. There was a hole there. Well, the hole's been filled. At least he knows where his brother is now, and uh, you know I'm sure that's a that's a relief to him. Well, graveside service is tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Greenville Cemetery.